Hello everyone. In the previous session, I have derived expression of RMS value, average value, form factor and peak factor. Uh -huh. And I have solved problem on these topics. Okay. So in this session, so I will be explaining you about the phase of an alternating quantity. Okay. So I have discussed, uh, uh, so I have explained uh, of uh, many parameters uh, of an alternating quantity like uh, frequency and amplitude and of course uh, RMS value, average value. So and uh, in this session, so I am going to discuss uh, about phase of an alternating quantity. I hope you are already familiar with the concept of uh, generation of alternating quantity. Okay, so based on the generation of alternating quantity, so we are going to represent the phase of an alternating quantity and so already we have derived this expression in the generation of alternating quantity that is i is equal to i m sin omega t or we can consider this as theta. Okay, omega t as theta but we have derived in terms of emf. So that was e is equal to e m sin sin theta. Right? So, this is again instantaneous EMF equation and this is instantaneous current equation. Okay? So, considering this as the theta as 0, so that means the rotating vector at the uh, same reference point, then theta becomes 0 when theta is 0, so we get 0 here. So, already you have learnt about the generation of alternating quantity and when the rotating vector so moves at this position, at this position, that is at the fourth position, then so theta becomes pi by 2, so we get the maximum value and similarly, when it comes to position 5, so theta becomes 180 degree, so we get again 0 and so when it comes to position 6, that is 3 pi by 2, so we get the negative value, that is negative maximum value, so finally, when it comes to the same position, so we will be getting 0. So, this is how we generate alternating quantity. So, based on the rotating vector, how we are going to represent the phase of an alternating quantity? So, always we consider the phase of an alternating quantity in the expression as i is equal to i m sin omega t plus or minus phi, plus or minus phi. Okay, so based on this expression, so we are going to have three different cases. So such as, so when the rotating vector at the same position of this omega t, then we represent equation as i is equal to i m sin omega omega t because since the phase, since the phase of the rotating vector and the reference point is 0. Okay? There is no phase difference here or there is no angle difference. Since the phase is 0, so uh, we will be getting i is equal to i m sin omega t that is considering phi as 0. And in the next case, you can see, so here the phase, so look at the rotating vector which is at the position 2. So we have this phi, okay, some angle phi. So we are going to represent in terms of equation as i is equal to i m sin omega t plus phi, omega t plus phi. And similarly, in the next equation, we get i is equal to i m sin omega t minus phi. Okay. So, since the rotating vector at this position, so we are going to have this as minus, but here we get plus. Okay. So, this is just a representation of the phase in an alternating quantity. So, so, based on the phase of an alternating quantity, so I will be explaining you about the phase difference between the alternating quantities. So here the phase difference of an alternating quantity is nothing but the angle difference between two rotating vectors. Remember the phase difference of an alternating quantity is nothing but angle difference between two rotating vectors. Okay. But in this case, so I have taken an example of two rotating vector as current and voltage. Okay. So, one equation, one rotating vector as current and another uh, rotating vector as voltage. So, you can see in this example, so considering one rotating vector as current which, which has the maximum value of I m and another rotating vector as V m. So, how do we represent in terms of equation? So, I is equal to, I is equal to I m sin 
omega t plus or minus phi and similarly v is equal to vm sin omega t plus or minus phi okay so now we have two alternating quantities so one is current and another one is voltage and so and we have got four different cases here so in case one in case one so the condition is uh, condition is in phase right so in phase means the two rotating vectors are at the same position the two rotating vectors are in the same phase considering the voltage voltage as a reference one and so considering i as a rotating vector so in this case so in phase in phase means when both are in the same phase so here you can see so vm at the reference point so i m also exist in the same point so now equation becomes for this particular case equation becomes v is equal to vm sin omega t since it exists in the reference line so we don't get any so uh, phi here similarly when even i m exist in the same line i becomes i m sin omega t so what we can conclude in this case so since both are in the same phase there is no angle difference there is no angle difference between current and voltage alternating quantity okay so when we represent when we represent current as an alternating quantity and the con considering this as the maximum value so 0 so pi by 2 pi 3 pi by 2 and this is 2 pi right so since both are in the same phase so even so maximum value is again vm and so this equation becomes v is equal to vm sin omega t and this equation becomes small i which is instantaneous current im sin omega t so remember there is no angle difference between these two alternating quantities that is current and voltage okay and in the next case in the next case so let me consider this as out of phase out of phase out of phase means as i've already indicated voltage vector voltage vector is taken as a reference and current vector is taken as a rotating one so when this is at the position of this 180 degree so if this is considered as zero degree and if this rotating vector which is current at the opposite position that is at 180 so 180 degree then we call it as out of phase okay so in this case in this case equation becomes v is equal to vm sin omega t omega t because it is taken as a reference one then i is equal to i m sin omega t plus or minus plus or minus so what is the angle here because there is a fixed angle out of phase means so there is a fixed angle so straight away we can write instead of writing phi straight away we can write plus or minus 180 180 degree okay how we are going to represent this equation in the form of waveform so so this is nothing but voltage so v is equal to vm sin omega t so this is the maximum value and so current equal current waveform can be represented as so look at the waveform it is exactly opposite to the current waveform is exactly opposite to the voltage waveform right and this value is i m exactly opposite means so there is a 180 degree angle difference between these two alternating quantities so i m and this equation is i is equal to i m sin omega t plus or minus 180 okay so 
I have discussed about uh, two cases, one is in phase and another one is out of phase. So similarly, so uh, apart from this in phase and out of phase, so we consider two more cases like other than 0 degree and 180 degree, okay, so this angle difference can be considered uh, between 0 degree and 180 degree. So those cases I am going to explain you in remaining two cases. Okay, so other than 0 degree and 180 degree, so we also consider uh, uh, the phases in terms of phase lag and phase lead. So before uh, you understand the concept of this phase lag and phase lead, so one must be the one uh, rotating vector, okay, one alternating quantity must be the reference one. So based on the reference one, we can consider the other vector as whether it is leading or lagging. Right. So, in the third case, in the third case, you can see phase lag. And uh, of course, before you understand the concept of this phase lag, so you need to understand which alternating quantity must be taken as the reference one. Okay. But in this case, in this particular example, I have taken voltage as the reference one and current as uh, this rotating vector. And so here, if we represent at this position, then I call it as the current. Okay, current alternating quantity is lagging behind voltage, lagging behind voltage with some angle phi. Okay, and not necessarily be always this voltage as a reference. So even the current can be considered as current alternating quantity can be considered as the reference one. So in that case, so the voltage becomes the rotating vector. Okay, so here in the phase lag condition, so current okay is lagging behind voltage and how do we represent in terms of waveform so remember this phase difference of an alternating quantity can be represented in three forms so one is in terms of waveform and another one is in terms of equation right and so another e representation is vector representation okay so there are three ways to represent the phase difference of an alternating quantity so waveform equation and in terms of uh, in terms of vector representation. So here, so as I have already explained you in the previous topic, so voltage has, has taken, voltage, voltage is taken as the reference one, then so we can have V is equal to Vm sin omega t, right. So now the question is, so where I can represent, where I can write the waveform of the current, okay. Here the voltage starts at position 0, so that means at this position time 0 and so when the current is lagging behind voltage means, uh, so here the voltage, always voltage starts first, later with the difference of this phi, the current starts, that is nothing but phase lag. So, uh, voltage is starting at this position after some angle difference, so let us consider this as phi, so when the current starts. When the current starts, okay, so this we call it as, this we call it as what? The current is lagging behind voltage with some angle difference phi, with some angle difference phi, right? Then, so equation becomes, so that means you can see all already I have explained you, so how we can represent this kind of, this kind of uh, vector uh, representation in terms of equation. So equation becomes I is equal to I m sin omega t omega t minus phi why it is minus because the current current is lagging behind voltage with some angle phi okay so in this way we can represent in terms of equation so why we don't get phi here because this voltage is taken as the reference one and similarly so as i've already told you this can be represented in three forms so one is waveform and another one is in terms of equation and the last part is so in the form of vector so if i consider this as an instantaneous voltage so this becomes vm and this is im with angle difference of phi right and Okay, so again same concept repeats here. So before you understand the concept of phase lead, so first you need to understand which alternating quantity is taken as the reference one. So in this case, voltage is taken as the reference one and IM that is current 
is a rotating vector and so current leads leads the voltage with an angle of phi okay by an angle of phi so current remember phase lead so you need to satisfy this case you need to satisfy this condition so to satisfy this condition so you need to understand which is the reference one and which one is the rotating vector so here this is the reference one that is voltage is the reference one and current okay you can uh, uh, lo you can look at the diagram here so current leads voltage by an angle of phi right so this can be expressed in the form of equation as so of course the voltage is taken as reference so equation becomes v is equal to vm sin omega t now so where should i represent where should i represent the current waveform so current waveform means so here current should lead the voltage okay current should lead the voltage that means first the current starts later voltage starts with some angle difference of phi okay so how do we represent this so remember phase lead means first the current starts like this first the current starts from this position and with an angle of phi with an angle of phi so this is how we represent this is how we represent the current waveform so look at this first the current starts so with after some angle that is phi voltage starts right because anyway voltage is taken as reference one and before that the current should start that is nothing but phase lead so now we represent this in terms of equation as i is equal to i m sin omega t plus phi plus phi okay so we have expressed in terms of waveform and equation and in the last part that is vector representation and we also call it as phase representation so this is i m and this is v m and the angle difference is phi and this is zero position right so this is how we represent or this is how so we consider the phase difference between two alternating quantity or the phase difference or the angle difference between two rotating vector but in this case so i have taken voltage and current as two alternating quantities thank you